السلام عليكم uh, now we continue our lecture relating to ordinary differential equations and last time we approach here this is trapezoidal rule and it's given like this it looks like trapezoidal rule for integration but now it is for ordinary differential equations or initial value problem so here example last last time we talk about it we have to consider two cases step length a half and step length equal point two. So last time we said it's, it's a half today now we will continue it with this way. So when we go to next slides so here we are well it is easy to see now each each step here each step is 0 0.2 it means to read this value I need y5 so it's not difficult to find out so we start with h equal a half and point for two just substitute as before y0 is given y x0 is given 0 substitute here because x0 is 0 the answer is 0 substitute here this is the rule when n equals 0 and we found this the answer but here as I said before this is implicit formula the rule integration no problem it was no y1 but here we have y1 right hand side y1 left hand side so we have to solve the equation and how to do it? It is easy because linear. Just move one of them to one side after substituting easier, and then we find y1. Now repeat again, find f of 1 by substituting here. We get this one answer. Maybe it sounds I am fast, but you should do this really at home without looking at this one and get the same answer. If something wrong, please let me know. So y2 here now again. It's always like this implicit answer. So here y2 and here y2. Well, we have to solve it for y2 and we find this answer. So again, continue. F2. Substitute, we get this. Y3, Y3 left hand side. All of them here, this y n plus 1, y n plus 1, we have to solve it. And here we get y3 as before. Y4, we get this the answer. Continue in this way and here is y5. And because he asked me found the answer at point 1, well, 5 times 0 0.2, it is 1. So it means I should stop here. Here is the answer, which is approximation. If we calculate the error, oh, God, it's much smaller than the previous one. Previous one, 1.69. This one, 0 0.07. So with the same value of h. So in that case, this is the trapezoidal rule. So it's very good method but one disadvantage we have to solve left hand side move y3 y3 and this case is linear easy to solve but in general it's not easy for this reason we have to look for something different here is again another example we have to solve for this one when we substitute as before, here y1 and y1, we have to solve it and get the answer. So please continue solving this one, similar to the previous case. And now we move to this one. In fact, the title here is still uh, trapezoidal rule, but just for some reason, I like to write it range kata because we introduction for range kata methods. So now improved Euler rule. What is improved Euler rule? Well, as I said before here, look, trapezoidal rule, we have n plus 1 on the right hand side, n plus 1 is left hand side, which means every time I have to solve this with respect to y n plus 1. If it is linear, easy, but sometimes could be difficult, sometimes impossible. So when it's impossible or very difficult, I have to apply something like if you remember Newton methods, because both of them are unknown. But this one may take long time, it may fail, it has some disadvantage. So I would like to replace this method by explicit method. So this is called implicit. How to make it explicit? Well, this one here, we approximate this, estimate this answer here. How can we estimate? We'd like to estimate y1 plus 1. Substitute here, we'll get this one. So what we do here, when we estimate this, what is fn plus 1 here? It is if xn plus 1, we put it a star. Star means estimation. 
But how do you estimate this? Well, use another method, you know. Well, we know that one here, all our methods. So calculate this y, my other method. When you know this one, substitute here. When you substitute here, become explicit method, we can find this a new point. And repeat, in that case here, because we are using Euler, this is called improved Euler method. And that's the idea. Well, this one, looks. if you want to write it in a different way, so just here we can rewrite it again, y n plus 1, like as before. Here h, put it multiply, here h times f of n, I call it k1, and h times f n plus 1, call it k2. So this one like this. Just rewrite it like this. What is k1? k1 equal h divided by this. So here we put a half. This is 1 over 2. And here k1 equal h times f of n. This is here. And k2 is the other thing, h times f n plus 1. So here it is. So this is called, when we write it this way, we call it trench cut the method. So, so that one here, we don't need to think about predictor or uh, estimation, just k1 equal this, always like this here, k2, when we know them, we substitute here, we found a new point, and so on. So this one called range cut the method, and called improved Euler method. So, now let's illustrate it by applying it to an example, that's previous example, using the step length equal a half. And we want the answer at x equal 1. So in that case here, we will move now to the next slides. And we will see this one here. Okay. Now x node equals 0. y 0 equal 1. When we substitute, we obtain this one. So in that case here, well, this one f of 0, in fact. So, well, here, uh, by here, um, uh, estimation improved all our method. Take it here, that one, and now substitute here, we call it F star, so you can write it if you like here, F star. Right? So we know now F star, now we substitute here F star here, we obtain Y1 star, which means improved all our method. When we find this one, substitute here, so we get Again, y2 star, substitute here, we get y2, the required solution. So here we found this one, and here is the answer. Well, here it says better. Well, in fact, it's not better, it's the same, <laughs> but just written in a different way, written here, a half, k1, k2. Just we are repeating the same as before. Just we write here, what is k1? We bind it like before, exactly, it's identical, in fact. Then k2 equal this one here. Substitute here, we get this one. The same answer as before. That one, the same answer. Again, continue here. k1 equal n f1, we substitute here, we get this one. Remember, h is a half. And k2, and then substitute here as in the next slide. So here is the next slide. Substitute here, well, we got the answer, that one. And here y2, same as above. Nothing is new, and the error is this. So here this called range. So the same thing can apply range kata method. Well, range kata method, what is it here? To a different example. Again, I will leave it to you, please, and you can check your answer here. And then we'll go to here. Next slide. Here again, n equal to, just you can do it, and it check your answer, and then at the end, this is y2, and with the error, you know exact value. Okay, so now here, this is for next step, so here this range kata method, we will talk about it later on. So in that case here, we have given you some ideas about how to solve ordinary different equations using either Euler methods, trapezoidal method, or improved Euler method. Remember that trapezoidal method is implicit method. So if it is linear, we can solve it by hand. If non-linear, we may need to apply Newton method, which may take a lot of time. So 
just to remark this one and then next lecture we will move to another type of problem called Ranchkata method you know one of them Assalamu alaikum